Hi everyone, so this is the latest project that I've built and this is a spectrum analyzer based around the PCD8544 LCD found off old Nokia phones, uh, the STM32F0 and a common collector amplifier that I built just using a standard transistor, a couple of resistors and some capacitors. So the audio from my audio interface comes out through this cable, goes into the common emitter amplifier, gets processed within the STM32 in a simple sketch that I've written and displayed on here. So a song that I'm going to use for an example is Deftones because I'm a, quite a fan of their stuff. So as you can hear now it's coming out of my hi-fi speakers as well. But you can see the spectrum just on here. So I've programmed it to be able to work with uh, displaying decibels or the linear audio, well, representation of the bins, and um, it's actually currently doing, I think, a 128 point FFT. I'll just, oh no, it's currently doing a 512 point FFT, uh, meaning that you get 256 points of actual useful data, and that is then further kind of well, condensed is the word that I'm going to use, condensed down, so it fits on this LCD which is 84 pixels wide, so essentially uh, each pixel is equal to roughly about four of the bins from the FFT, and uh, this ranges from 0 hertz furthest left up to 20 kilohertz furthest right because I'm using a sample rate of 40 kilohertz, uh, and <laughs> surprisingly it works. I'm currently windowing the samples after I've receive them using a hand window which is done using a Coswave lookup table pretty much and um, there are different options for windowing so there is a triangular window the hand window which is the one that I'm currently using and a rectangular window which is your standard block window which can be used for pretty much everything So here we're currently running a really slow column filter and as you can see the actual column data is changing really slowly like it looks kind of cool but it's obviously not keeping up with the music. This time however you can see the column filter is currently set to zero and the data is changing pretty rapidly like it follows the music really well but it's not really particularly pleasing to the eye. So what we have here is a pretty standard white noise test. It's got a pretty equal amplitude across all frequencies as you can see and if you were to average out the frequency amplitudes over a long period of time it should equal one. Changing that to a different statistical model of noise, this is pink noise, and you can see that the high frequencies are much more rolled off, as well as hearing that too. So here is something that I'm just using to test the time response of the spectrum analyzer. So from when you hear the sound to when you see it on the screen is essentially the latency that it takes to sample and complete the FFT and display on the screen. It's relatively fast. So here we're actually using a sine wave sweep to have a look at how linear it is. It's just a linear sweep that I made in Audacity. And as you can see, they're all meant to be clipping points, but because I have the gain less than zero, it's not as bad as it seems. And uh, it doesn't look that good, but uh, the spurious parts that you see are actually aliased parts caused by Audacity, which is kind of weird. But uh, it produces a pretty linear sweep, as I will let you see now. So what we've got here is a 1 kilohertz square wave, and uh, you can see the frequency components pretty well, so furthest left we have the 1 kilohertz, very small 2 kilohertz, quite large 3, small 4, 5 and so on, and as you'd know for a square wave, it only contains odd harmonics.